Chapter 11, Night of a Thousand Stars. Dad's back! Uh-oh, this is gonna hurt. No! Her spirit is trapped in the spirit world. But she'll she's be okay. going to be all right. Yes, she'll be okay. She'll be How okay. How could this happen? It was all my fault. I feel terrible for Tenzin. Hey, Mako. Hey, what's with the fancy duds? I'm on my way to the big finale for Nuk Tuk, Hero of the South. Yeah, everyone's going to be there. Except, except for you. Except <laughs> for, you know, you. Right. Because you're in jail and stuff. Correct. Hey, I brought you something. I thought this would brighten up your new place. Read the inscription. <laughs> Dear Mako, Nuk Tuk says keep smiling. It's the most generic message for his brother. I'm not a criminal. Of course I know that, but you do kind of look like one, cause you're in a jail and that's where criminals live. Solid point. Ah, I see what you're doing. You're going for the insanity defense. Smart. No, I'm trying to tell you that Varric isn't what he seems. Well, I mean, the thing is he is what he seems. It's just that he catches you off guard with how much he seems that way. Varric's innocent. <sighs> The sweethearts of the big screen and Republic City's most famous couple, Bolin and Ginger. Are they a couple now? Or is this just for show? We're Republic City's most famous couple. Bolin, you're a doll, but you're as dumb as the rocks you bend. Okay. President Ryko and the First Lady Buttercup Ryko just arrived, and they're being greeted by entrepreneur extraordinaire. Varric! Why does he walk like that? Varric, I know what you're doing, and I doubt your propaganda is going to change my mind about going to war with the Northern Water Tribe. I think you'll be surprised how persuasive I can be. What, does he have something else planned besides the movie? Oh, it's in the, uh, it's in the pro-bending stadium. You know, when I first started this project, there were a lot of naysayers out there. You can't make pictures move, they said. You can't take some knucklehead earthbender and make him a star, they said. <laughs> you can't teach a polar bear Ouch. dog to speak. They said they're wrong, and you'll be shocked to hear what they have to say. What is he planning? My hope is that their words and this epic mover will inspire a real life hero to rise up and help. He doesn't really need to inspire the president necessarily, though, right? His plan is more about inspiring the public to want to take action, and then that will force the president's hand in a way. I'm excited for this finale, I'm not gonna lie. When last we left our hero. He was captured by the evil Unalak's dastardly pet bird. Amazingly, with the power of his whistling, <laughs> no. Nuk Tuk escaped. That's not that impressive. I'm just working on a cure for the common cold. Looks just like him. I need your help to stop the evil Unalak. If there is one thing I love doing, it's helping people. <laughs> the seal line seemed a bit far-fetched, but the betrayal of this president is right on the money. I think this is your best mover yet. I just wish Maka was here to see it. There you go, some humanity from Bolin, finally. Some good special effects for the first movers. <laughs> we did it! But wait! Where's <laughs> what was that? Oh no! No, no! It's okay, Nuk Tuk. At least I got to be <coughs> your friend. <laughs> Those hands. What are you embarrassed for? You did great. I was moved. You do know Juji's not really dead. Of course I know. He comes back to life in the end when the doomsday device shifts the polarity of the Earth. Oops. Spoiler, Spoiler. alert. I guess I just miss my friends. Everything is going so well for me, but it feels empty without everyone around. Mm-hmm. Team Avatar's falling apart. Things have changed so much since we first met. They have. That's weird. Good job keeping your eyes out, Bolin. Oh, is this Varric's insurance? So does he want to kidnap the president so that people think the Northern tribe did it and then demand action? So he doesn't need to convince the president at all. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> That's good. Well done. Mr. President, get back! I'm here to help! There you go. Damn. This is how you get Ginger to like you. <laughs> Being actually awesome. 
Are you gonna try to take bowling on in pro bending? Are you crazy? Yeah. I've been second thoughts, Ginger. I mean, look at him, he's going crazy. These people really gotta show. This is unbelievable! Bowman is bending two full stacks of earth discs at once, which would normally be illegal. But then again, he's fighting <laughs> three he waterbenders, so all rules are out the window! He's off duty, but can't help himself. This is awesome. This is the best pro bending match yet. Kinda unfair though that Bolin's just beating up on these amateurs. Tell me who sent you! It was Varric! Please don't hurt me, Nuck Tuck! Nuck Tuck. I think this is our cue to exit. Where do you think you're going? Wow, Bolin just ruined everything for Varric. All that planning. <laughs> there you go. That's a really nice multi-layered thing they just did. Because you have real Bolin, who's just done something really heroic, standing in front of fake Bolin on screen, right? Which is a representation of his character the last couple episodes because he's been super fake Bolin. He's lost touch with his friends and family. He's gotten way too full of himself, forgotten who he is. But then on the balcony, he had a realization about what really matters to him. It's amazing how well that scene redeemed him after we just watched him be a total a-hole for <laughs> like two to four episodes. Just doing one thing really cool, one thing right, just made him instantly likable again. It's so great that that's a thing that can happen. There's always hope. You can always turn things around if you just do things correctly. If you just do the right thing and do things well. It's a beautiful thing to watch. Redemption is possible. Good job, Bolin. I'm proud of you. He's innocent. Free Varric. And no one saw it coming. Actually, someone did. Remember Mako? You've got a great officer on your hands. He's one of the best. Maybe you should, uh, you know, get him out of jail. Sometime soon. Oh, I can't believe my boyfriend is a real life hero. This is kind of what I was saying the other day. The key for Bolin is to get out of his own way and just be awesome Bolin like he already is. People see it immediately. He has to have faith that he has value and just not try so hard to prove it. We have a really, really good radar for that. And it, it's not a good feeling when you sense that someone's desperate and is trying really hard to shape their personality to impress you. Bolin is just a, a great dude most of the time. Not recently, but typically. Wait, stop. I thought you said we weren't a couple. Uh, you really are as dumb as those rocks. Of course Bolin, we're a don't, don't accept her. Bolin, you saved the president. And you proved Maka was right all along. We have to go tell him what happened. Yeah. Uh -uh. Give me a minute. Avatar Korra. Unalak doesn't just want to take over the South anymore. He wants to take he over wants the to destroy galaxy. the whole world. Yeah. I need to protect my citizens. I'm sorry. Nuck Tuck needs your help. I know you love helping people. Son, I appreciate you saving my life, and I'm a big fan of your work, but my decision is final. All right, well, at least it's consistent. But it's not completely unreasonable for him to make that decision. He doesn't know what we know about, like, Juan and Vatu. At the end of the day, what does he really know, right? He just knows Republic City politics. Wait, where's Mako? Um, yeah, he's in jail. I was the big premiere. It's pretty big. You were right about Varric! He tried to kidnap Raiko! I knew it! But it didn't work because of you and because of me. Let's just say we both did good. I love it. Fills my heart with warmth. Don't worry about it, bro. Yes, that's what matters. Never forget it. <laughs> oh, it's so great. It's so storybook fairy tale, but I'm not gonna lie, I love it. Nice no job, one believed Marco. in him. You're going to make a great detective. But, Chief, there aren't any detective openings right now. Actually, yes, there we are. have two openings. Go eat your ferret cakes. <laughs> Mako, I missed you so much. How are you going to play this, Mako? Oh, yeah, Mako? did I forget to tell you? Cora's back. Cora? We had that fight before you left? You broke remember? my desk? No, not really. Oh, she doesn't have her memory back fully yet. Okay. Was it a bad fight? Uh, Mako? Uh, no, no, it wasn't that bad. Man. Asami, man, she always gets the short end of the stick, always. We need to figure out how to deal with Unalak. Right, there are more important things going on anyway. How are you free? Guys, hey! What do you think? Oh. <laughs> Eric Industries built this prison, and I had this cell made special. I had a feeling I'd end up here one day. Smart. Does Julie Slip have to be in jail too? She does. Tea I love. Don't tell me you guys are still mad about everything that happened. <laughs> it's been five I did minutes. some good things too. <laughs> Cora, who warned you about Unalak? I did. Bolin, who got you into the movers? I did. Asami, who saved your company? I did. 
Marco, who got you thrown in jail? I did. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess that was a bad thing. Three out of four is not bad. I wasn't going to hurt him. I just needed to start a war. Right. That's fine. That makes sense when you put it that way. Yeah, I told you he was innocent. Knew it. Knew it all along. You have a battleship? Of course I do! Named her the Julie. So just to be clear, he named his fourth ship after his mother and his first ship after his assistant, Julie. I mean, Julie does deserve it. She's literally in prison with him right now. They're both cold, heartless war machines. <laughs> Let me make it up to you. Take Julie. The battleship. My battleship. All right! Team Avatar, Team Avatar is back yeah. in business! <laughs> things have gotten so much better in this episode. It's like, things were in such chaos before the Juan episodes, and then suddenly everything's clicking now. This is great. I feel like finally we're like refocused. It's good. I hope my dad's all right. Get the men and fall back. It's just Eska and Eska. I didn't know they were that strong. I have a bad feeling about the father. Tonrock. That was cool. Looking for me? I'm too strong for you. Whoa. Battle I didn't know I needed. Just kill him? No. Now okay. that I've defeated you, your daughter is next. Wow. That episode was a lot of fun. Highlights for me? Bolin. Bolin kicking ass. He's the man again. Varric, who's clearly innocent of all charges, coming through to save the day for Team Avatar. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon for the next part.